So today I'm a gray-bearded man, but once I was a callow youth. And in those days, I heard, as many young men do, boys really, the stories of war. And though I was not old enough, I heard tell of the great deeds that were done, of the battles that were fought, and of the noble queens who inspired the dragon army. One day, when I was old enough, I was given the opportunity to see this. And I tell you this tale because there are many songs of the Midrealm. There are many stories that we tell. We speak of the dragon, we speak of the army, but what makes us who we are is not that our warriors are noble, for noble warriors are found in every kingdom. It's not that our hearts are filled with love, because there is love in every kingdom. What makes us the Midrealm is that the people who have brought us to this place, the people who lived only here, whose stories are told here, make us who we are. And it's a story of one of those people who touched me that I wish to share with you today. And this is why I tell you the story of Queen Tanguistle's true name. You see, in my first war, when I was finally old enough to be allowed to set foot near the battlefield, the queen was a lady of great virtue named Tanguistle. She acquired in the course of that war a name, which some of you may even remember. Some people refer to it as a nickname, but I prefer to think of it as her true name. For like all true names, it was shown to have power. You see, that year there, Tanguistle and her king had, as was the custom, a great court where knights were dubbed and peers were elevated, awards handed out, honors given. But this court was not quite like all the others. In that day, it was the custom for the king and queen to host a mighty revel after the feast, after the court was over. And as we were almost done with the long Pensic court, a messenger came running up, came up, and was allowed to approach the throne and spoke privily to the king and queen, who looked more than a little perplexed. And after a moment, the king and queen spoke, and Queen Tanguistle rose, and she says, We have received word that the great dark horde has set upon our camp during our court and have made off with the beer. <laughs> and she said, people of the Midrealm, do you stand with me? And as one we rose and said, we do, your majesty. And so there the court was adjourned, and after due pomp and after the recession, the entire population, the audience of the Midrealm court, set foot to go down to the camp of the great dark horde. And because I was young and small and of little import, I was able to sneak my way up to the front to see this with my own eyes. And so this is not a tale told as in legend, passed down from one person to another. This is what I saw with my own eyes. We came there, mighty Tang Whistle and her king, with the banners and the champions and the peers and the populace, making a line many hundreds of feet long along the road. And there stood the guard at the court's camp. No, no young man, no newly minted warrior. This was a grizzled fighter who had clearly seen much battle and bore the scars of noble combat. He had the strength and the presence of mind not to look flustered as the Midrealm came to his gate. And Queen Tanguistle said, we be I believe you have something of ours. And the hordesman looked at her and said, and what if we do? <laughs> and she said, I have come to claim it. The hordesman looked at her and said, and who are you? And at this, Tanguistle's king turned to his people, and he said, people of the Midrealm, who is this woman? And with one voice, we called out her true name. It is she! 
who must be obeyed. <laughs> then the hordesman looked flustered. <laughs> and he said, I'll be right back. <laughs> he went from his post as we waited courteously, though not fully patiently. After a moment, he returned and assured us that the Khan had decreed that she who must be obeyed would receive her beer. And that is the story of my first war, a story of a person who touched me and many others, and one of only many stories that we have to tell. So I come to you not just with a tale, but a challenge. Each of you have stories like these in your memory and in your hearts. And I challenge you, especially as we begin to welcome all the peoples of the known world to share our hospitality and tell our stories, to make sure that those who were not there understand what it means to be part of the Midrealm. Thank you.